Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have some more toy pickups to show you guys. Um, I didn't get much, and in fact all this stuff I got it at a, what I'll call my local thrift store. Uh, it's pretty much just a thrift store that's two blocks away from me. Um, I go there every few weeks just because they do a 50% off sale regularly, um, or sort of kind of regularly. Um, but I drop in every so often just to see if there's anything, uh, new worth, uh, getting. And even though I've seen a couple things over the last few weeks, I haven't really, uh, decided to get anything. Uh, I did, though, find on two separate occasions, uh, all these toys that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, but first off, I wanted to start with, um, uh, this set of toys here that I got. Uh, basically, I went to the store... I went downstairs to the basement where their toy section is, uh, didn't see anything new there at all. It was the same old stuff that they have there all the time. Uh, basically really crusty and gross uh, stuffed animals, board games with a lot of missing pieces, uh, baby toys, like actual toys for babies that are like a few months old, uh, and other random stuff like that. Uh, but I did find a bin of action figures, and I took them upstairs. I asked the guy, well, how much for these ones here? And he says, oh, those ones there? Oh, okay, uh, $4 for all of that. And considering the way that he prices things, I thought $4 was a fair enough deal for these uh, toys. And uh, basically there was a plastic bag in the bin with them. Uh, so I just put everything uh, inside of this small, like, Ziploc bag. Uh, it's just, like, I don't know, like, sandwich size. A pretty small bag. Um, and basically this is what I got. Uh, so to start out with, I just, I tossed this in because I, I really didn't know if it went with any of this stuff here. Um, I know that, I mean, it does go with it. Basically all these figures were Star Wars figures. And this is some kind of, uh, either a stand or, I don't know, maybe like a background piece or something if you're, like, making a set. Um, and it's branded as Star Wars Return of the Jedi, but I don't see any markings on it for, like, maybe, um, you could, like, place a figure on it or anything like that. Uh, I know very little about Star Wars figures, so I didn't, uh, uh really know what was what so I just grabbed everything um, but that was one of like the pieces that I could have probably just left behind um, next up there was this guy here I don't know what his name is or if he's even got all his pieces do you guys be the judge of this um, basically that's him let's see if I can fix the glare uh, he has this weird gun backpack thing and he has like orangey red hair or I should probably say brown ish but yeah if you guys know who that is please let me know uh, there was also this uh, thing that looks like maybe it's possibly a projectile but I don't know maybe it's someone's weapon I really have no idea and then this which is definitely a weapon but I didn't know which figure it went with, so I haven't really paired it off. It's just like a little gun there. Um, and also, one extra, like, outfit, cape thing, I don't know. Uh, it didn't fit with any of the figures unless I got it wrong, and in which case, I did. Please let me know if this goes with any of these figures that I'm about to show you. So, um, a couple of these aren't exactly, uh, figures, like, uh, action figures as much as they are just sort of, I don't know what to call these, like, solid figures. Uh, basically some of them are made by Kenner Toys, and the other ones are by a company called Applause, but they're all, uh, Lucasfilm, uh, like, official figures. Uh, this one here is, God, if I get his name wrong, uh, really sorry, he's in the 
one of the PS1 uh, Dreamcast games, uh, one of the Jedi something games, um, and he's in episode one, I believe it was. I'm not sure if he's in episode two or three. Um, I think his name is Qui-Gon Jinn or something like that, but again, let me know if I got that wrong. Um, but yeah, the quality on his face, like the sculpt on his face, isn't that good if you can possibly see that. It's just really bad, but oh well. Um, and also, there was other figure here, some kind of a robot guy, a droid, or I don't know what to call him exactly. But if he has a specific name, like if he's a, an individual character, please let me know. Otherwise, I think he might just be a generic robot, uh, but there's this tall robot guy really skinny, with binoculars or something in his hands. And then, two other figures, um, these were also made by Applause, um, is uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO, uh, that there, sorry, is the R2-D2, and that is the C-3PO. And, uh, one last one here, I can't remember if... Okay, this one is Kenner, so now I'll just go into the, uh, uh, Kenner figures that were, uh, included in this set. Um, I should know, I should know at least the name of this one here, but I, I really can't remember what this, uh, race of aliens is called, but it's the little guy with the black face and the, uh, like, brown hooded outfit. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure this guy was on, uh, Hoth. Yeah, on, not, not on Hoth. Um, the desert planet that, uh, Luke lived on. God, I'm really bad at remembering these names. I'm not the biggest, uh, Star Wars fan, so... Uh, I really have a hard time remember, remembering these things. So yeah, there's that guy there. Um, next, there is... I don't know. Please don't like rip on me for being way off on these. I think this guy's Greedo or something like that. Uh, possibly one of the aliens in the bar. Don't really remember. Um, this one here is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Sorry about that. And he came with, like, his cape and all that stuff, but, uh, no weapons of any kind, uh, for him. Uh, there's also this generic Luke, uh, without any weapons or accessories of any kind. And a... Leia in her white outfit, and I believe this cape is supposed to go with her. Uh, it wasn't attached, but I tried putting it on there, uh, just because it looked like it matched, but I really don't remember if she has a cape or not. Uh, next up is this figure here, which is... I really can't tell. I think it's supposed to be Han Solo or Luke um, in this strange mask thing, but I haven't watched any of the Star Trek movies in years, and even when I watch them, I just, I pretty much just watch them once or twice, uh, depending on which movie. I think I watched uh, episode uh, five and six the most, but even then, it's only maybe three times each on those. And yeah, his uh, mask comes off there. If you can tell if that's Luke or uh, or Han Solo, please let me know. He's also got a bun going on in the back. And then the last figure from this set uh, is kind of strange. I really had no idea who he was, so I looked him up, and this guy here is... Uh, Prince Zixor, or something like that. I might be messing up his name. Uh, but apparently he's uh, one of the uh, sort of bad guys 
Uh, he is uh, the villain of uh, Shadow of the Empire. Uh, that's the uh, N64 Star Wars, well, one of the N64 Star Wars games. Um, and I believe he's in other media as well, but I I honestly don't know. Uh, but he's got green skin, a black ponytail, and a purple outfit. And I know he comes with other stuff as well, and he has like another piece of clothing that goes on top of him, but that stuff wasn't included here but for four dollars to get all this stuff i thought it was a fair enough deal i could just put them up on the shelf uh sorry for letting this video run uh for so long and sort of escaped me uh i'm not the biggest fan of star wars i do appreciate it uh i'm more of a star trek person but even then only specific kinds of star trek mostly uh voyager and the next generation definitely not any of the other series um, but Star Wars is still pretty important, and I enjoy some of it. Uh, anyways, at the thrift store, another day, I got these two toys. I'm going to try to be as quick and snappy as I can with these. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about the series, but they looked interesting enough. Uh, they're really dirty, and the one is missing, uh... Well, the one is missing just the sticker, and the other one is actually missing both of its arms, which kind of sucks. Uh, but still, good enough. And these are pretty hard to come by. Uh, I've never heard of these before. Uh, they're part of a series called uh, UFO Commander 7. And uh, they're from the 70s or 80s, if I remember correctly. Um... And there was a TV show associated with them, I believe, as well. Uh, this one here is a ship called the Blue Silver, I believe. Yeah, the Blue Silver. Um, basically, that's what it looks like there. And it should have a sticker in the front that says the name of it, but it's gone and it's also really dirty. It also has these parts here that are like cannons and they open up and of course it has projectiles but they're missing uh, which kind of sucked but these ones here I mean they're, they're metal and they're made to last and they're pretty decent it's just the stickers and some of the paint has chipped away and of course like the accessories those are usually always missing um, especially so with this figure here. This guy here is called Vulcan 1. And he's like this robot guy, uh, who had arms that were supposed to sort of shoot off. Uh, basically his fists are like a sort of, uh, projectile. And that's a pretty cool concept. I see it often enough. And this guy here is, like, entirely made of metal, uh, except for, like, this plastic dome on his head and the, um, uh, buttons here for his, uh, projectile arms, uh, those are plastic, but everything else is metal about this, uh, his legs, uh, his, uh, torso, his head, his, well, the rest of his arms, uh, all this stuff is metal, and I wonder if the projectile arms were metal as well, uh, or if they were plastic, and, uh, if they were metal, I wonder how... Like, with how much force they uh, shot off of his arm. Uh, maybe it hurt some kids back in the day. Uh, who knows. But I saw these here, and the guy ended up putting a price of uh, $10 on the two of them together. Uh, there was another figure there as well, and it was actually a Transformer from the uh, first generation. It was a first generation Jetfire but it was missing way too many pieces. Uh, it was even missing its entire sort of tail fin. And what else was missing? Um, like a whole bunch of accessory pieces. And it was also really, really orange when the thing should have been white. Uh, so I didn't end up grabbing that. It was $8 for just that. Uh, but it was almost entirely made out of metal, which was strange to me. Uh, but then again, I have some, uh, some of, like, the commemorative Transformers that they made about a decade ago, 
uh, that were uh, sort of a remake of the older ones, and they were made out of metal. So I don't know much about classic Transformers, but I'm just going to assume that they were made out of metal, like that was the thing. Um, but I ended up getting that, but what kind of bothered me about it was that uh, as soon as I said that uh, I was going to leave it behind, some guy jumps in, grabs it, asks how much, pays, and leaves. And it doesn't bother me as much that somebody else ended up buying it almost immediately after I put it down. What bothers me even more is that he went in front of me at the register and paid for uh, his toy and a couple other things he ended up grabbing. Even though I was at the register just about to pay and all I did was tell the guy, well, okay, well, I'm just going to leave this one here and I'll just get the rest. And he just jumps in and goes to pay for his stuff. But I didn't say anything. I just let him go ahead and pay and get out of there. Uh, he told me that the figure was a Robotech figure, but I'm almost certain that it was Jetfire. Um, if there happens to be a Robotech figure that looks like Jetfire, uh, and you know about it, please let me know in the comment section below. But I really do think it was Jetfire from uh, Transformers G1. Um, anyways, that's all I got. A whole bunch of uh, Star Wars figures, a couple of toys from uh, UFO Commander 7, um, and uh, yep. That's it. Uh, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below. And uh, that's it. See ya.